Right then. Free kick straight to Benat, Danilo, Rafina, straight through to the pacey Mbappe. No one's going to beat him when it comes to pacing. A nice little tap in, a little deflection maybe, but still a goal. Icardi, Demaria, straight away off the bat, straight to another highlight. Danilo, Benat, where's he going to go? Neymar Jr. He has created so many this season. Straight to Rafina and another goal. Right then, Rafinha again. Everything just seems to be going going through this bloke. Uh, straight to Mbappe. All the space in the world, especially nice. Is that like a long range dink? <laughs> Lovely. Right here we go. Then where are we? Just didn't even see his name. Keen. Uh, there we go. <laughs> all by himself. Young lad as well. Nice goal. Lovely. Right then, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Straight to Odegaard. What a signing that player is, by the way, for Arsenal. Straight to Lacazette. Lovely goal. Ripped straight through their defence. Here we go. Aubameyang. He's still got a little bit of pace on him. He's getting a little bit on, on in age now, but he can beat quite a lot of defenders with a 17-17. And a solo. Lovely goal. Right, Bellerin. Willian. Sign him from Chelsea. What's he going to do on that right-hand side? Swing it in or take him on? Swinging it in, course. Straight to Thomas. Smashed it in the top right corner. All right, Gabriel. Over the top, straight to Willian again. He's going to cut in. Yeah, here he is. Yeah, here he is against Liverpool. Nice goal. Gabriel again. Nelson Thomas over the top to Nketiah. He's got a bit of pace on him as a younger wonder kid. Straight to Lacazette. Lovely straight through the arms of the goalkeeper. Right, and Ketia again up there by himself. He's got one defender to beat. Pass it. Lovely bit of composure and awareness there. Straight to Odegaard. Bottom left-hand corner. Nice. Alright guys, took a job, so you have seen the highlights. This tactic is called the Rover. Now, it's created by a guy called Victor Hugo. He's on my Discord. He's on quite a lot of Discords. Um, he's around. He's got his uh, hands in a lot of channels. And if you didn't know who the Rover or Rover is, he is also another guy who, if you are on the Discords, on the channels, um, familiar with FM Scat, he is the behind-the-scenes guy. He is everywhere and anywhere and is... Um, Yes, everyone's great, basically. So it's a, it's a nice tactic and it's a nice gesture to, to be called um, or to be named after a tactic, really. And I've actually spoke to Victor Huger himself. And one day he will create a tactic called the Tucker. That's right. And I'm pretty sure I'll be the one testing it. So I'm hoping for that one. I'm waiting for that one. Uh, so let's get on with the tactic then. As you can see, it's a 4-3-1-2 or 4-3-3, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, very, very powerful. If you have clicked on this video, the chances are you have seen the thumbnail. And the thumbnail is showing a little bit of information about the wonderful player that is Mbappe. But we'll get to all those numbers later on. The uh, teams who are going to be a part of this test then. Arsenal, Leeds, PS3, Strasbourg, Barcelona, Granada, Port Vale, Salford and Solihull Moors. Right, a couple of low league teams that we'll glance over at the end. But we'll mainly focus on these bigger teams here. Um, so let's get on with the tactic then. If you can't download it. I'll go over the instructions in a second. If you can download it, the tactic is on the FM Scout website. The description will the description. The link will be in the description just below. So check it out and uh, have a look at all the other tactics as well. Um, so let's get on with the tactic and all the instructions for the guys that can't download. Pressing forward left. Bolst nine, right. Attacking midfielder. Wide midfielder left. Wide midfielder right. Deep line playmaker. Inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, four plane defender left, four plane defender right, and the sweeper keeper set piece instructions corners defending right and left, attacking left and right. And the takes instruction is to aim to the near post, and then free kick instructions defending right and left, and attacking left and right. And that's a mixed taker there. Uh, small chance of shot right and left, and your taker is aiming for the cross center. Uh, direction and then wide left and right and once again that's cross center and then finally in direct deep right and left and cross center again and uh, finally the throwing instructions defending right and left 
and attacking left and right and as you can see it's the long throwing so yeah back to the uh, tactic that's the individuals that's the set pieces the mentality is positive uh, in possession you're looking at fairly wide attacking width with play out defense on the approach play shorter passing directness with extremely high tempo so fast short possession football hopefully uh, low crosses in the final third with a uh, work ball into box in transition uh, counter press and counter and then your goalkeeper's instructions is to slow the pace down so obviously everyone to get back into position uh, distribute to the flanks and then throw it along as well out of possession you're looking at using the offside trapping defensive shape much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line standard defensive width with extremely urgent pressing intensity and prevent short goalkeeper distribution if you want a little idea of what players fit your tactic just go to the quick pick Pick with that restriction, best 11, and it should give you a little idea of what is best. But then you just change it around slightly for personal preference. Obviously, if you don't want Lacazette as the false nine, but you want Bamyang as the false nine, switch him ever. Right? But try and use your common sense and realise that your biggest goal scorer is perhaps going to be the pressing forward rather than the false nine. Um, so yeah, that's the tactic. That's the teams. That's the instructions. Let's get on with the test, and I'll see you at the end of the season. Welcome back then guys, so let's get started in the Premier League as you can see with Arsenal and Leeds they both had decent finishes alright, Arsenal are predicted 5th so coming 3rd is an improvement with Leeds predicted 10th which they shouldn't be, I've said this again in an older video they are underdogs in my eyes, they've just been promoted, they should be with the likes of West Brom uh, and Fulham so yeah, 6th place to me I think is absolutely fantastic European football and if you look at the points, 71 75 points could have got them fourth place um so there was only a couple of games in it and it was so tight just round the sixth to fourth position anything could have happened there so Leeds did fantastic to pretty much stay with that crop of uh, teams but Arsenal obviously pulled off a little bit from them with 79 points unfortunately missed out with uh, with Man City and United finishing above them Liverpool not very often I see this finished outside of the Champions League qualifications. Fifth place. Uh, so yeah, Arsenal and Leeds. Top three players in the uh, league for uh, player stats. Goals with Bamiyang scored 34 league goals. Average rating was a Rafinha and Odegaard. But Leeds and Arsenal coming first and second. Assists, you got Rafinha and Odegaard again coming first and third, 17 and 13. Uh, player of the matches, joint second was Rafinha for Leeds. So a nice one, Rafinha. And a nice one, Leeds, getting a couple of players in the top three. So you've actually got... One, two, three. And Arsenal have also got one, two, three. So you pretty much kept up with them. Obviously, you ain't got any in the goals, but that's all right. Don't matter. Aubameyang's pretty great compared to the strikers that Leeds have got. Uh, so, yeah. But I think it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Let's get on with Arsenal's competitions. And how did they do in the competitions as they missed out on the league? And they ended up winning two bits of silverware, English FA Cup and the Community Shield in the final. Uh, they were against Liverpool and thrashed them 6-0. What a result. And then English Community Shield, uh, they also won that beat in Liverpool 4-3. So, yeah. Nice results there. Uh, two bits of silverware, two trophies in the cabinet for Arsenal. It's a shame that they didn't get a, a win in the league as well, but sometimes it can be a bit difficult. Man United are very strong in a, this football manager 21, and we all know, obviously, uh, Man City and Liverpool are very strong teams as well. So where Liverpool finished, very odd season. <laughs> Schedule, let's have a look at some of the results there. Maybe against Leeds, the head-to-heads. So the first time Arsenal and Leeds played, it was 3-2 to Arsenal. Second time they played, it was 3-1 to Arsenal. And then obviously you can see there all of the other results. Uh, they had a couple of games against big teams in Europe. So you've got Juventus there, unfortunately. That's the team that knocked you out of the Euro Cup. So just before that, it was against the likes of Tottenham that you beat. Uh, Krasnodar, obviously, that you beat there. And all the teams that you can see all the results yourself uh go to the squad then a lot of players getting some decent high average ratings we best player being on loan from real madrid is odegaard right? nine goals 26 assists awesome job for him and uh, biggest goal scorers bamiyang lacazette uh, emile smith wrote and then ketia all getting double digits with your biggest goal scorers you know, Bamiyang and Lacazette, the two, uh, the two attacking forwards, obviously the two strikers. One's a false nine, so it's nice that he's still uh, got a lot of goals, really, for that position. And then if we go to the team report, on a, a general performance, it's pretty good. All right, you're conceding a little bit over than what 
some other tactics are but i think that's that's generally acceptable you're still far above the other averages obviously with the goals per game and shots as well and if we have a look at the analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical on the attacking efficiency and defensive efficiency we've just edged over but we are still quiet and impenetrable and then the full stats of the season for arsenal was 177 goals not bad except it was 82 conceded so quite a lot there in all competitions in 61 games conceded a little bit tinkering maybe obviously i know arsenal do struggle a little bit when it comes to the defense of their team um but in the league it was 42 conceded which was the fifth best so that's not too bad uh, maybe it should have done a little bit better for arsenal and then 96 goals scored which was the best in the whole league so nice one arsenal next up were the underdogs uh, leads so uh, yeah we've seen the players in the top threes how do they do in the competitions and the fa cup got knocked out in the fifth round carabao cup got knocked out in the fourth round by redden all right two winnable games southampton and redden definitely redden uh, so that's a shame that they didn't get a little bit further in those competitions but regardless a decent finish and qualified for europe next season a uh, squad schedule some of the big results big teams let's have a look then so southampton no man city drew uh, beat liverpool 4-2 great result then you've got the likes of Chelsea. You lost against them, unfortunately. Manchester United beat them 1-0. Uh, let's go down a little bit further. Man City 2-1. Liverpool did get one over you again, though, at 5-2. Uh, and then near the end of the season, uh, a little bit of a bad end, really. I think if we had a good end to the season, like I said, it was only two games in it. If they just won two more games, they would have uh, clinched Champions League. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't. So there's all the results. If we go to the squad... Decent amount, really, actually, for the team. Obviously, when you see a lot of my videos and a lot of top teams, underdog teams, when I do my testing, it's the underdog teams normally get four, five, maybe six, if the lucky players getting the average ratings in the green. So that's pretty good. All right, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine players getting a decent average rating. And uh, your best player being Rafina. All right, eight goals and 18 assists. Biggest goal scorers was uh, Patrick Bamford and Rodrigo, 20 and 16. And biggest crazy team Rafina and then everyone else after that go under double digits so 18 assists for him a team report general on a whole again all right don't forget you are underdogs so it's going to be a lot smaller than some of the elite teams some of the other scores that you see but you are still doing very well when it's expect you're expected to actually score more than you did so that's that's a good sign obviously i know you didn't but the tactic and everything the way you play it kind of says that you should be scoring more so maybe it's just a little bit of bad luck was on the lead side really uh, decent shots per game obviously still on the top ends of the averages when it's conceding per game so not bad there and then analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical and then conceding we are ooh, ooh, i think that's classed as it if you look at that one we're on the line but if we look at this one then you're actually just in quiet and impenetrable i think my big head's in the way but yeah you are in quiet and impenetrable uh stats of the whole season unfortunately it was only 87 not bad still though for a very underdog team in my opinion i know it says 10th but it's they're not 10th they are not 10th uh, goals conceded was 60 so a lot less than uh, arsenal but you played uh, less games obviously i think you played about 17 games less than them uh, so that could have made a massive difference uh, but six is not too bad to be fair uh, in the league it was 51 goals conceded and 74 scored so it was still the third best team in the league at scoring uh after arsenal and maybe who would you say was after them so it gotta be man U, ain't it gotta be man U second place um so well done to leeds next up then let's go to league one we're gonna go to france and this is where you're gonna see something that was balmy balmy all right so psg finished first they always were going to finish first strasbourg are a mid to lowish team the predicted 11th they came second fantastic result psg unbeaten they didn't lose a the game they only drew four times 134 because they've got one player on that team that we all know obviously is going to be taking the crown of the best player in the world there's a couple out there that we can see that are going to be dominating for the next couple of years and mbappe is one of them all right so top three players mbappe 58 league goals and then diallo for strasbourg coming third with 19 average ratings neymar mbappe is that leonard oh yeah leonard leonard 
one of them. Uh, 8.17, 8.01, 7.58 average ratings. Assists, all three players again. Neymar, Florenzi and Keane, 21, 13 and 13 in the league. And player of the matches, Mbappe with 15. 15 player of the matches. That's that's I think that's the highest I've seen in Football Manager 21 for a tactic to allow a player to have 15 uh, player of the matches and the Neymar after him with nine, uh, nine. and then Navas uh, clean sheets 17 clean sheets for PSG so that's absolutely incredible so let's have a look at the competitions for PSG then yeah pretty good uh, pretty good tactic for PSG not bad not bad uh, Victor not bad <laughs> so they won everything they won everything, beat Real Madrid in the final of the European Champions Cup 3 1. Uh, French Cup, they beat um, Ajaccio. Ajaccio. That's a very odd team. Yeah, they, they actually did fantastic to get all the way to the final. So that was a nice, easy win, really, for PSG. Uh, so 5 0 there, and uh, Mbappe scored 16 goals in that competition. And then uh, Trophies as Champions, they beat Marseille 2 0. Um, in the final so they won everything they got the quadruple four competitions under the belt a uh, fantastic team and a fantastic tactic so let's have a look at the schedule then there's going to be some big results here all greens a lot a lot there straight off the bat look eight nil first game of the season <laughs> against Strasbourg head-to-heads it was a 6-1 win for no, PSG, obviously PSG didn't lose. And um, the second time they played, it was a 6-3 win by PSG as well. Uh, you got the likes of um, Marseille ended up getting a draw. You got Man City 5-1, Lazio 5-1, 2-1, uh, Liverpool 3-2, Real Madrid in the final. Obviously, you got a two-all draw, 5-0. Six goals, four goals, six goals, eight goals again there. Six goals, five goals, seven goals. Yeah, it worked pretty well for PSG. This tactic did, didn't it? Of course it did. Uh, squad, let's have a look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like Owen Wilson. Wow. Um, only four players. That, that It's got to that point now where it's only four players got less than seven average rating. <laughs> the rest of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, best player was surprisingly Neymar with 8.09 average rating, 20 goals, 29 assists. Biggest goal scorer is that lad there. Now, I looked at this when the test was finished, the simulation had done. I looked over all the numbers for the tactic and everything like that, like I normally would before I do a video. And Kylian Mbappe, 89 goals. In all of my testing that I've done, on camera, off camera, for FM20, FM21, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a struggle to ever get this again because I don't reload any tactics. I don't do them over and over again to try and get good scores to show you. I always give only tactics pretty much one chance. One chance to, to do well and that is the result they've got. It's relentless. I know sometimes it can be a little bit not unfair but maybe inaccurate because in, in order to get a good accuracy a good take on a tactic of how good it can do you probably need to test it about 20 times and then get the averages and then that's probably a more certain result after all that but yeah I only got one go so Mbappe got 89 goals that's yeah <laughs> 13 assists and after him Neymar 20 Rafinha Cardi Sarabia and Demaria all getting double digits biggest cre creators Neymar Florenzi Keane uh, Demaria Mbappe Cardi Sarabia uh, Rafinha Benat all getting double digits all those this this tactic just worked at mwah, the PSG nice one and maybe even for your team if you're a few years in the future obviously you've got a nice team built up now you've got a nice little bit of chemistry going on you want to introduce a tactic that hopefully will do just as well as this because they did absolutely outstanding uh, team report on a whole bossed it and everything there just bossed it okay 4.26 goals per game three uh, expected so you are smashing the expectations obviously conceded less than one 88 percent pass completion which is above the averages which is not too bad uh, shots per game over 22 you can't nothing went wrong with this for psg nothing went wrong you went unbeaten you won the league you won every competition and you got so daft when it came to the goals it was unbelievable so yeah, 
obviously we can already tell the score and attack and efficiency is aggressive and clinical. Uh, conceding, we are quiet and impenetrable. And if we have a look at the full stats, 225 goals, where just under half of that was obviously all to do with Mbappe. 89 of those 225 goals was just Mbappe. <laughs> and you only conceded 45 in all competitions. Like I said, perfection for PSG. Yeah, it was. Home, in the league, you scored 162 league goals. <laughs> the biggest numbers I see uh, right now that I've seen for a while. For a while, if ever, um, right now is on this Roba tactic for PSG. And they only conceded 27 in the league. So let's go to Strasbourg then. These were the mid-table team. We've seen the players. They didn't win any competitions because PSG won everything. Let's have a look at the schedule against some of the bigger teams. So we've got Leon there. Nice, decent win. 2-1. They had a bit of a rough patch, obviously, in October. Uh, lost all games there. And then you got 8-0. Um, Monaco beat them 3-1 decent results down here Marseille 1-0 nice uh, near the end of the season won every game in May as well Marseille once again 4-1 and then you can see all the results there yourself uh, squad very different to PSG but still not too bad alright you got uh, what's that 6-7 seven. 7 players getting decent average ratings with your best player being Leonard uh, I'm guessing it's Leonard it's not is it it's not once again once again the name just rap. Um, and biggest goal scorer, scorers was uh, Diallo with 19 and then obviously 18, 14 and 10 and then biggest uh, creator in the team was Thomason as well with 10 and then uh, Ludovic at York with uh, 10 assists as well uh, team report on a whole not too bad obviously uh, lacking a little bit when it's conceded per game but sometimes you would expect that with a, a lower league uh, lower level team especially with a team the predicted mid uh, so just you got to forgive them a little bit really aren't you and it's still near the top still near the uh, high ends of the averages and everywhere else is very good um, full stats so analyst report scoring attack and efficiency no near PSG but still in the right zone all right, still in aggressive and clinical and then conceding you are quiet and leaky and then the full numbers was uh, 91 goals and 67 conceded and in the league it was 84 goals scored which was the second best after PSG uh, which was pretty much double really want it nearly <laughs> and then goals conceded was 64 which was the fourth worst so let's go to Spain uh, Barcelona and Granada. So Barcelona, again, a top team. And I like showing top teams. It's, it's nice to see some big results uh, that you can potentially get when your team is a very good standard. So, uh, yeah, Barcelona won. Only lost twice. 100 points. 89 goal difference. And Granada are the underdogs. They are predicted 17th. So just outside relegation. They came fourth. Qualified for European Champions Cup next season. Let's have a look at the top threes. The biggest goal scorer in the league actually was Suarez, the Granada um, striker with 36. After him was Messi and Griezmann with 28 and 23. Average rating, Messi and Miller. Uh, first and second assists. you got Miller there, joint second with 15. And then player of the matches with 12 was Lionel Messi with Marc-Andre Ter Stegen uh, coming third on the clean sheet. So let's have a look at Barcelona's competitions then. So European Champions Cup, we know they didn't win it because PSG did. But they did win the Spanish Cup. Uh, and they beat Espanyol 5-2 in the final and lost that in the semi-final against Atletico Bilbao um, there in the Spanish Super Cup. So they've got the double still, which is it's not too bad. But when you've got PSG, how they were, yeah, they were, they were never going to win the Champions Cup. All right, PSG stormed it. It's all about PSG in this tactic. <laughs> Schedule some of the big results. Head-to-heads first against Granada. So the first time they played, Granada actually beat them 3-2. So massive result there. And then the second time they played, it was a 6-1 thrashing for Barcelona. Then they played again, which was a 0 nil -er. And then again, which was a 1-0 to Barcelona. So they played each other quite a lot of times. Other results, you got uh, Olympiacos 3-0. Levante 2-0, 5-0 there against Pomplona. 5-0, 7-0 against Ibar. Nice, big results again. Uh, wicked, wicked uh, squad <laughs> squad uh, a lot of players once again getting some decent ratings with your best being Messi with 39 goals 19 assists, biggest goal scorer is Messi, Griezmann, Fatty, Coutinho and PK. PK, nice, getting uh, 10 goals there and everyone else doing pretty well as well, uh, and then uh, assists, Messi, Pjanic, Fatty Alba, uh, 19, 15 12, 12, 11, 10 uh, and so on and so forth big numbers 
uh, and very well done. Everything just seems pointless now. After seeing PSG's numbers, you think, well, Barcelona's ain't that impressive. No, not, not compared to those French giants. <laughs> <laughs> a team report on a whole absolutely bossed it obviously again um, word of the day is bossed b-o-s-s-e-d if you don't know what i'm actually saying you probably think well what's he saying there it's saying bust boss what hey did very well nailed it <laughs> uh well done to them um analyst report scoring let's have a look aggressive and clinical what i'm looking at that for uh once again looking at that general performance nailed it Scoring, attack and efficiency, nailed it. <laughs> Aggressive and clinical. And then conceding here, we are quiet and impenetrable. So a uh, nice one. And in the league, it was 113 goals scored, which was the best. And then 24 conceded, which was also the best. So the underdogs, Granada, did very well. Couple of players, obviously, in the uh, top threes and the highest goal scorer in the league. So well done to Suarez. And then the competitions, they uh, didn't win any uh, unfortunately, obviously the Spanish Cup and the Euro Cup. It's uh, surprising that they're actually in the Euro Cup because they are technically underdogs. So, nice one. They actually got to the first knockout round. Um, schedule, some of the uh, bigger teams, not counting Barcelona, because we've seen those scores. So, they had a little bit of a bad end really to the end of the season. Great April, though. All right, they won all those games, 2-0, 4-0. Um, and then FCP lost against them, obviously Porto. Uh, let's have a look then. So, Real Madrid, decent. one all draw there. Uh, Balbao, Balbao, Bilbao, 2 1. 5 3 against Levante. So, yeah, some decent results. Uh, first game of the season was a 6 1 thrashing as well. And then squad, pretty decent again with the average ratings. We best player being Miller with 8 goals, 22 assists. Biggest goal scorers in all competitions. That Suarez got 54. That's a lot. That's massive for an underdog as well. Uh, and then, yeah, 13 and 11. And then biggest creators in the team was Miller with 22 with Herrera. Just below him with a 16 in second place. So, nice one. Team report on a whole, you are still actually on the outside of the averages. So, you're doing very, very well. Uh, and also decent on the goals per game and shots per game as well. Uh, analyst report scoring attack and efficiency aggressive and clinical guys and then conceding we are there just drop down into quiet and impenetrable the full numbers was 137 goals which is awesome for a team predicted 17th don't forget uh, 74 conceded which is obviously shows a little bit of lack of quality in the back line uh, for the underdog team so kind of like a double-edged sword not too bad though, not too bad. 137, still quite a lot of goals. Uh, and in the uh, league, it was 85 goals scored, which was the second best in the league. And 55 goals conceded, which was the ninth best. So yeah, fantastic. Let's have a quick little glance at some of the lower league teams. So Port Vale in Skybet League 2 and also Salford. Uh, yeah, first and fifth. They both got the promoted. Salford are a great team, obviously. So they got champions. The predicted third came first. Port Vale are predicted eighth and also came fifth. Went through on the playoffs. So well done to two of them. Um, and a couple of players getting into the top threes there. And then if we have a look at Solihull Moors, they also were champions of the Vanarama National League going up to the uh, League Two. So nice. And again, a couple of players in the top three. So awesome tactic. Well done, Victor Hugo, for creating this. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, and I'm hoping Roba is very, very uh, happy that a uh, tactic was named after him. And hopefully you guys will use this tactic. And it does absolutely insane. You get some big numbers like you saw with uh, PSG and Kylian Mbappe. And uh, very good luck to you. And I hope you have an amazing save. And I'm Tucker Jobs. This is Tactic Testing. Make sure you to uh, subscribe so you don't miss any tactics or any other Wonder Kid videos or anything like that or anything of the other videos that I do. Uh, like the video as well, comment and uh, join the Discord, guys. Got Discord, people chatting, people talking, people getting in there. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I'll see you when I see you. Bye.